that's why like, I got like it kind of like it kind of like for me because I got obviously I started working every day with Junior, then I started rainy days by myself, and then now this one, I have so much like I would say in person screw ups along the way and like seeing what worked and what didn't work. Oh, okay, we dropped that shirt last time. Why didn't it do well? Oh, because it was just like a picture with a shirt, a picture of a background, Photoshop picture. No one really seen how the shirt moves, the hoodie moves. All right, so, so next time, let's have a model, a, a live model, wear that shirt, show off that, show off that shirt. That's the drop. Instead of just dropping like on a white background, you know what I mean? Yeah, you already know how that is. Yeah. But like that that type of stuff, like, and then even with the bags, like my first season one right i dropped the bags and stuff and I, I did all the photoshop and all the 3d designs and stuff like that people saw it and i was like, okay the first week it didn't it didn't do well no the first couple weeks it didn't do well and i was like what the fuck like why is it not doing well and i was like okay let me get the bags myself do a, do some live reels and then let me see what happens i did that and then people start buying the bags and i was like oh okay they want to see live stuff. They don't really want to, like, you can do all the Photoshop stuff all you want, but, like, they want to see it, how it moves, okay, how the inside looks. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. And once I start realizing stuff like that, that's when my sales increase and stuff like that. But I wouldn't know that if it wasn't trial and error, though. Yeah. From, my, from all my other brands. Like, I would have still kept putting that shit out over and over and over and over. And then got, I, mean, I got no sales. Yeah. So I would say, uh, basically, the other brands prep me for this, prep me for this job, basically. 